So judging from all of this, our personal use experience and the chemist takeaways, in terms of what we recommend for people, it kind of depends on your goal. I'm the oily, acne-prone skin chemist, Victoria. And I'm the dry skin chemist, Gloria. Today, this is an ecto and head-to-head comparison episode between Prequel's Multi-Quench Hydration Serum and Inkyla's Ecto and Hydro Barrier Serum. These are mouthfuls. To start off, we should talk about aesthetic. Yes, the texture of both. They're just the difference between... So for me, the Prequel Serum is a classic hydrating water-based serum. That is sticky, so sticky, so 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 yeah, sticky. So better ways to do. This is how they do it now, right? Triple, triple, triple. They do a line. I see it. So it does go on initially with a fresh water break, but as you mm-hmm. rub it in, it, it gets very very sticky. Mm-hmm. The stickiness does eventually go away, mm-hmm. but it takes a little bit of time. And I would say this is also non fragranced. Mm-hmm. You'll see why with it other one but yeah i would say this is it's i think very signature of hydrating serums yeah it's just a level of you have to expect a level of tack or Mm. um but i found yeah with the level of glycerin and whatnot definitely expect i think i i definitely have to say more stickiness than the rest yep um yeah the inculus is actually kind of a light emulsion this pumps screams discount pump <laughs> anyway but it's it's got the light lotion look and yeah. feel a little bit more nourishing because it does have that oil content yeah. it has a it's not sticky but there's a filminess Film. to it Film. yeah 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 for sure so that's the texture between my dry skin and victoria's oily skin our takeaways are the same so it, it feels roughly the same on me i find prequel sticky to be not super offensive it does take a little bit for that to go away and for me sometimes when i use a sticky product like that i just go right into the next skincare step i'm like yeah i don't want the stickiness anymore let me just like get mr reliable on call a day (laughs) yeah i i think initially when i use it i feel that it it's just noticeable yeah which usually i I don't like when it's noticeable, but agree that eventually, eventually it will go away. So does it bother my oily skin? Not necessarily Mm -hmm. in the long run. Initially, yes, I think it does. And I I think the thing I'm more curious about is in humid climates, would I appreciate this texture? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that's where I it can be a no for me. Um, Oh, on the grand scheme of uh, sticky hydrating serums, Skin Suitacles Retexturizing Activator oh. is by far the worst <laughs> I have ever used. People swear by that thing, yes. and it's a good product in general. But that stickiness is that you might find your pillowcase on your face level all <laughs> sticky. It doesn't matter what you put on afterwards. Yes, and I will say this: and it, this is not no. that right. No. Initially, it goes on. It almost feels like oh, it's that sticky, but again, it does go away. Yeah. So. Just to give you guys some context in terms of what we mean by stickiness and going away. And yeah, and I should also follow up like last, our last product head to head with the toner pads. Yeah. That level of stick is my gauge meter is mm. when I can feel my eyelids kind of <laughs> stick together. That is significant stick. So I would say definitely it's it's not to that level at all. Um, you know, yeah. weirdly enough, I think I think most people might prefer the inkyless texture because it has that lightweight emulsion spreadability so it doesn't it's a ha- film but it's not offensive yes but i don't like it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i think for me and this is this is more of a preference thing mm-hmm. for me that like kind of dull film texture is not like i i that's one of my least favorite things so like kind of like the pdrn episode i yeah. had the same issue so it's funny you say that because i also i i don't know if it's because I feel so lukewarm that mm-hmm. it's kind of just ends up contributing to be a negative. Yeah. But for me, I actually felt like, okay, it's on my face. I feel it. But I don't know if it feels hydrating to me. Uh, and I think that's where I'm like, even as an oily skin person, I perceive that where I'm like, it's just on my face, but I 
There's something there, but I'm not sure. I like, feel like it's still lacking for mm. what I expect it to be. And mm. it could be because it's a light emulsion. So, yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. I kind of felt the same thing. It's like, it's lukewarm, but lukewarm could be a negative thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's our personal feels on the yeah. aesthetics and texture. Let's put our chemist hats back on and get into decoding the ingredient list and their claims. Mm -hmm. They're very different. They're very different. And I will say, Inky was committed committed hard to this of this skew and they wrote a novel for it so i'm just gonna <laughs> write through i'm just gonna read through it really quickly and there's like a, a little bit to unpack here yeah so their claim is this is a breakthrough in barrier skincare the inculus ectoin hydro barrier serum is your winter skin savior a dual action serum that boosts hydration up to 10 surface layers whoa bulkly <laughs> well 10 surface layers deep whilst building a stronger, more resilient skin barrier to defend against cold weather, dry air, and seasonal stressors. Mm -hmm. Clinically proven to restore skin balance in just 3 days and deeply hydrate plus strengthen the skin's barrier in just 15 minutes. In just 3 days, in just 15 minutes. Got it. It's a cold weather essential <laughs> for keeping skin hydrated, soothed, and glowing all season long. Mm -hmm. Alright, th this is long. I'm sorry guys, but there is... There is stuff to go over here. Replenishing your hydration while simultaneously repairing your barrier is essential for t protecting against winter dryness and moisture loss. Our Ecto Hydro Barrier Serum has, has been uniquely formulated with ingredients that work synergistically to provide deep, multi-level hydration, helping to lock in moisture and shield the skin for environmental stressors. I feel like they did say the same thing in 18 different ways. <laughs> I was but like, that is a novel. To unpack, there's a couple things. One is deeply hydrate. I mm. do want to call out, I think the cold weather, it, it, the way it said, talks about in just 15 minutes, in three days, alludes to clinicals. I do kind of question their up to 10 surface layer deep clean. How did they get that number? Weirdly specific. <laughs> and, and the last thing I want to call out from this long chunk I just read is the shield aspect. Mm. Shield your skin from environmental aggressors. I think... Of everything that they claim, I'm kind of like, okay. I will say after reading this, I feel like they might have used ChatGPT to write this. Yeah, it's. I just think <laughs> it's, it's just a, a lot. Every single skin claim description possible. So let's actually look at what's in it and if the claims are justified. Mm -hmm. So first off, there's 2% 2 2 ectoin. Hey, Huge win. Props. Refer back to our previous episode to know that this is definitely our recommended level of ectoin. Yes. So huge props there. They did describe it as a multifunctional active that high hydrates whilst simultaneously supporting and strengthening skin's barrier which was like there given what we went through in the previous episode yeah it contains 2.5 percent multi-molecular weight hyaluronic acid for hydration cool <laughs> wow that didn't i didn't mean for that to come out so lukewarm it's fine it's um <laughs> oh it just you felt so whatever cool to find and you tried all right cool it has 2.5 percent yeah grass water <laughs> and then it also touts a one percent barrier blend i mm. do not know why they have parentheses barrier, barrier. <laughs> Cool. With three ceramides to strengthen skin's barrier. Going through the ingredient list really quickly, I'm going to read off the top ones. Mm -hmm. You have water, propane dial, cap cap triglyceride, coconut alkanes, ectoin. And I want to call out the ectoin because it has, it's in there are 2%, which means that propane dial, cap cap triglyceride, co uh, coconut alkanes, uh, specifically cap cap triglyceride, coconut alkanes, these are lightweight oils, mm. are not very low in this formula. So mm. there's a good amount of emollient in here giving in that that like light emulsion texture and then you have your ceramide blend at the bottom with ceramide mp ap cholesterol phytosphingosine honestly i think ingredients alone kind of check out yes. of some of the claims they're trying to make the only thing i really take issues with is shield for environment stressors which to me is a job for inclusives yeah and i think the thing that i want to point out is you've Definitely see you've got your humectants, you've got propane dial, you've also got a few lightweight emollients. So I would just based on the IL and kind of trying this out, I feel like this is comparable to almost like a milky toner or mm -hmm. really, I, I don't even know if I would say it's a lightweight lotion because yeah. like Gloria, I don't know if you would consider this as people would use it as a standalone moisturizer because mm -hmm. I do think... But it's definitely got elements where 
Yeah. Like adding like a little bit of oomph to a routine, but maybe not. It definitely wouldn't function as a standalone. This is getting ahead of ourselves a little bit, but that's exactly how I feel as a dry skin individual mm. is that I referenced it in our toner episode, but formulas, products like this actually kind of irks me because I don't think it's hydrating enough as a hydrating serum, but it's not moisturizing enough as a moisturizer. Who are you? What do you want? Yes, but what for those with oily skin, this might be a helpful, yes. simple skew to have. Yes, exactly. So with that, we should talk about how they do share a couple before and afters. Yes. I don't believe they actually shared any details about the clinical yes. they ran. Yes. So I read all that and then going through the details of the ingredient list and the pictures before after they share to say that, hey, it sounds like you did a clinical by camp find it. Yeah. So it's hard for us to dig into their claims, whether or not it's justify how we feel about their protocols because it is currently MIA. Yeah. And we'll also share their before and after pictures. It's taken 15 minutes after applying the serum and i have to say probably the only thing that is a little tough for us to speak on is like there's not a lot of details there's just an a very alluring bar chart that shows before the hydration level was 25 percent, and then after 15 minutes the hydration level is now 83 percent. there's no asterisk there's no detail there's no how many subjects so i think at least for me gloria i feel like I don't really have a takeaway and I'm not letting this uh, sway my decision in terms of purchasing. Well, I feel the same way. I think when, we, when I chose to read the whole description is yeah. because the, a lot of the wording yeah. implies that there was a clinical done. Yes. But I mean, it, it, there could have been one, but I couldn't find the details of it. So it's just one of those like, oh, so close. It could have been really interesting, but I kind of don't see the data. So it's hard for us to have a big opinion there so to sum up on that i think gory and i are going to be just strictly looking at it from a transparent percentage Mm -hmm. aspect and then the il itself we're not really looking at the claims for this one yep all right for prequel yes this one is ballpark around 30 dollars, give or take a discount Mm -hmm. um so you're going to be getting 50 mils and in terms of the description we'll go ahead and read it a multi-level hydrating serum formulated with dual weight polyglutamic acid, glycerin, osmolites, and ectoin that provide excellent skin moisturization, improve the skin barrier, and support skin's natural moisturizing factor. Great for dry skin. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's in the description because I just noticed on the inky list, like actual bottle, it says delivers multi-level hydration. I'm like, somebody's reading each other's words. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and in terms of they did do a clinical test. Mm-hmm. Um, they tested for 48-hour hydration. Mm-hmm. Just a word for word, it says a multi-level hydrating serum formulated with dual weight, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. So multi-level hydrating serum is the key word here, apparently. Yes. They shared the details of the clinical test. We should mention that this seems to be just a consumer perception mm-hmm. test they weren't measuring hydration level with yes. an instrument per se. So the results showed that after one use, 93% of the participant noticed immediate improvement in hydration. 96% agree it gave them a glowy look. And after one week of daily use, 100% agree it made their skin appear more youthful. 100% agree more plump. 96 agree made them made their skin more radiant. So again, the lingo of noticed, agreed. Uh, signifies that this is a post use survey, not an instrumentation measurement, which is pretty common. Now we'll yeah. say it's still nice that they did this, but it's not, we don't weigh it as high as ones with actual measurement or expert grading. Totally. And in terms of the inky, we'll go ahead and share that as well. Um, so I'll read a few of the top ingredients. So it's water, glycerin, butylene glycol, polyglutamic acid, 1 2 hexane diol, ectoin. They've got a few extracts and I'm skimming. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's that's really the main the main active ingredients and humectants. Yeah. So judging from all of this, our personal use experience and the chemist takeaways, in terms of what we recommend for people, it kind of depends on your goal. Right. So if you are like, I I love the ecto episode, sounds super interesting. I have compromised skin barrier. I want to give it a go. The inky list makes yeah. a lot more sense to me. Because you're getting the actual percentage 
that is tested. Yeah, prequel shared that they have 1% pure PGA, 3% PGA complex, 10% glycerin, and then the ectoin is noticeably missing the percentage, which is, and given where it is on the <laughs> ingredient list, it's probably lower than the inky list or can be anyone's guess, really. Yeah, I think the other thing that probably would be helpful to decide is where do you want to use this in your yes. routine? Mm -hmm. um, because like I said, one is a very light emulsion while the other one is has zero oil components. So this is definitely that aqua serum that you're going to be using right after your cleansing step. So, I mean, mm -hmm. to be honest, again, this is if you guys had listened to our ecto di deep dive, this is kind of the conundrum of ecto products is the formats are going to be very different. You can get anything from a moisturizer to a serum with Ectoin products or lightweight water-based serum. So yeah, I guess I think that leads us to the final question, Gloria. Which one of these would you choose? <laughs> I think I will actually have to offer prequel. Mm -hmm. I think ultimately, like Victoria mentioned, for me, it comes down to where I would, what role does it play in my routine, mm -hmm. right? I think in terms of a formula that highlights Ecto and while the inky list is better, is Ecto and something that I will bend over backwards to put a skew that doesn't quite make sense for my routine mm. in my routine? Mm. I don't think my skin barrier is compromised enough for me to just go out of my way to try that. Right. So the inky list, like I mentioned before, the lightweight filmy emulsion type textures to me doesn't feel like it has a natural place that fits in my routine whereas the prequel quench serum is it's a hydrating serum it's a more natural first step in my routine for me it's yeah it just makes more sense whereas this doesn't replace a hydrating serum the inky list one doesn't replace a hydrating serum so it will make me feel like oh i need to add a step specifically for ecto and which me yeah i think i agree mm -hmm. i am I feel generally, I, I think begrudgingly, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I, I think because, again, because Ectoin is not going to be that ingredient where, like, I must have this in my routine, I think I feel almost, like, a little more open to exploring. Yeah. And because of that, I'm kind of like, okay, I, I, I definitely, yeah, of the two would choose prequel, but I also feel that if I get to win in other products, I wouldn't mind and maybe wouldn't need this necessarily. So that's yeah. that's kind of how I am. And maybe I'm not I'm not completely sold, uh, but of the two, I would definitely choose prequel. I and what's funny is even though we get the percentages from mm. the inky, I think the texture is is kind of like I think I'm kind of more deterred by the texture. I don't need another product like this in my routine. Mm -hmm already because i have oily skin i don't need that format and yeah so sorry guys that sounds very lukewarm all that to say is yes i would choose prequel over the inky yeah so these are our personal choices again it kind of comes down to your skin goal your skin yes. type and why you're buying a product and yes. hopefully us walking through these different angles yes. different ways of looking at these products is helpful I was going to say, also, if you guys have an Ectoin product mm -hmm. that you guys like that is not these two, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. And we will definitely take a look because this landscape is very broad. We looked at other products, but found that these two um, to be a pretty comparable head to head mm -hmm. um, based on price point and just general positioning. Um, so, yeah. So that's it for our Ectoin head to head comparisons. Coming up next, we are going to take a closer look at all the oils, plant oils, your esters, like just oils in skincare in general awesome. for the next episode. So write to us, uh, let us know below if you have any questions there, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Bye!